Hi, welcome to John's Gaming and Tech. So I had a comment from a viewer, but it's a shame we only have four access to button mapping in the software. I like to have my, t my throttle slider to operate as an air brake in the A10. It's already cost me two buttons. So um, I don't know. This is from Gubernator46. An awesome name, by the way. Uh, I'm not sure if he meant throttle slider or um, flaps slider or the slider on his his throttle, but I'm going to show you guys how to create an access to buttons without using up all of the buttons, um, the customizable ones. So stay tuned and we'll get loaded up. All right, welcome back. So we have VPC software loaded up. I have my throttle selected. I am loading my device. We are on the most current um, software version as of January 8th, 2020. And over here, we just I just released a, my first tutorial Thursday showing you guys how to do your access to buttons for the customizable ranges. You can also double click so for this video we're going to be using the flaps lever this will work on the cm2 as well as the cm3 uh, any access it will work with so if you double click on it you come to this window here and on the bottom we have access to button predefined ranges so you can do a 0 50 and 100 percent as a predefined range or you can go 0 to 20 uh, 21 to 40, 41 to 60, 61 to 80, 81 to 100. So you can actually have up to five buttons on one axis. So for this video, we're going to be using, once again, the flaps lever. I am going to do zero to 20 and 81 to 100. We will save that. And then if we come over and then save VPC device, and give it a second to reload. And now if we come over to button, you will see if I move my flap lever forward, we have 122. If I move it all the way back. So now the it has created two buttons within those ranges. Now we will come over here. Once again, um, anytime you create a button, it is not actually activated as a logical button to Windows, even though you have a physical button here, Windows will not see it unless you come over here and assign it to a logical. So let's go to our next available opening. And if we go 106, we're gonna change this to 121. I'm gonna leave it as normal. Now with the normal, it's like a button push on off. You can do as a switch, toggle on, toggle off. Um, so I'm gonna leave it normal for this video and we will go save and next and 122. I think that I, yeah, 121, 122. So now if we move our axis forward, you can see it activates those as buttons. So we will save VP device and this will work on any one of your axis so if you want to set your throttle up this way, um, I highly recommend if you have the CM3 with the detents, use the customizable ones, um, or it, it it's just a little more fine tuning you get there. But you can use it on your throttle slider, you can use it on your flaps. If you have the control panel, you can use it on your access dials there. Any access dial, it will work. So now we are done there. I'm going to load up DCS just to show you that now it should work in DCS. Okay, here we are in the A10C. So we will hit escape, adjust controls. Let's search for speed brake. Air speed brake aft and forward. So we will start with speed brake aft. I'm gonna take my flaps lever, that is a axis, move it aft, the button 106, and then we are going to go speed brake add combo. And we will go forward. OK. OK. And now if we move our flaps lever forward, 
or I'm sorry, if you move her flap to lever aft, you have speed brake. And it is adjustable. So if you go forward and then back to center, you can see that now we have speed brakes. So I hope this helps. Uh, any questions, leave them in the comment below. Make sure to like and subscribe if this video helped you. And we'll see you on the next one.